I am here in this town for five years and, can, and I have participated in three of Eastern Partnership Summits. From my experience, I can say it was the best summit which I ever seen, in which I ever participated. It was very constructive, future-oriented, based on real politics, and uh, was you know, united. He un this summit united the people, united the countries, make, uh, make them, uh, makes them closer to each other. Many, many positive elements for Azerbaijan in joint declaration. Let's start from uh, from very obvious one. It's uh, the, the position of European Union countries in case of supporting of all Eastern Partnership countries, sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity. And in case of the conflict resolution, it was not any dividing approach that one problem should be uh, solved in one case or another in other. No. In this case, in case of the uh, conflict resolution, the position of European Union and neighborhood countries was absolutely clear and is absolutely clear. They have a general approach based on, on the norms of, and principles of international law based on the sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity. It's crucially important for four countries from six. Four countries have been unfortunately involved in this complex and we know the, the main reasons. But if we will go deeper in this case, so we we'll go to the details, it will be, it will be disaster because in this case uh, European Union could become the battlefield for confrontation. But the position of European partners I mean, European Union countries and Eastern Partnership partners was absolutely, you know, unified. We have general approach, and based on it, we should use to use this platform of Eastern Partnership for more development, for more independence, for more sovereignty. That's all. Definitely yes. Definitely yes, because you know you can call this conflict by you know in, by other names. One is going in one country, another in another country, but we see that it's a, as a as infection. You have it now in neighborhood, but tomorrow it could be in your own house. We see the processes which are going in the region. We see the processes which are going even inside of European Union. And believe me, it is a very serious, uh, serious threat to European security and a European, uh, European internal and foreign policy. And I'm very happy that it was uh, appropriately reflected in the global strategy of European Union on the foreign and security policy. And it was mentioned in joint declaration as well. That is the main core of this joint declaration that is a position of European Union based on this global strategy, that we need to protect our unity from such kind of artificially done, led by other players, uh, such kind of the conflicts. Joint declaration and generally, all the uh, statements which were, uh, had, have been done by, have been made by uh, the, letter, the, the heads of delegation, it was much more, much more wider, much more wider than just uh, you know, sovereignty, independence, and so on. We, the, so many things have been highlighted. First of all, connectivity, connectivity, connectivity between the countries, connectivity between the peoples and transportation routes. Our southern gas corridor was specially highlighted there. Azerbaijani-European uh, Union uh, negotiations on a uh, new agreement was specially mentioned in this joint declaration. And our ongoing negotiation on new free aviation agreement also was mentioned there. It was specially highlighted that 
Azerbaijan and you know should be ready for uh, the, the for launching of uh, visa liberalization uh, agreement. It's also a new approach, and also we did have a, some annex 2020. We call 2020 deliveries. So it and they are absolutely pragmatic approach, future oriented, strat uh, with strategic content. My minister and uh, Madame Magherini, they signed a very a serious, very uh, important uh, document, TN TNT we call it, it's the expansion of transportation route connecting Europe and Asia on the territory of Azerbaijan, and it creates absolutely new opportunities for us after the launching of Baku Belize class railway, after starting with such kind of the uh, transportation hub, Azerbaijan is together with our neighboring country, we are becoming the main hub between Europe and Asia. And this document is crucially important for us. So, if you ask me generally, it is mostly about the future, real policy, pragmatic and future oriented and the uh, tailor made joint declaration. Of course, continuation of our negotiations on a new uh, agreement between Azerbaijan and European Union. It started immediately. On Friday, the summit happened and uh, was finished. And on Monday, we already started with a new round of negotiations on political and security uh, questions uh, between the, of the new agreement between Azerbaijan and European Union. And it, this process is going on. I hope we will synchronize this process with the implementation of all our projects and both parallelly will give us exceptional opportunity to have a, something which has never happened before. When you have a strong political dialogue in all the spheres, human rights, democracy, education, everything, culture, multiculturalism, but based on the very strong commercial economic platform. Southern Gas Corridor, transportation hub, this is the, what we'd like to have. In this case, Azerbaijan, EU relations will be not a new headache, problematic issue for the neighborhood policy of European Union. It will be a new achievement because it can engage new countries, neighbors of neighbors. And in this particular case, believe me, Azerbaijan was its very serious neighborhood, its own neighborhood, you know in which part of the world we are locating, will be the one of the best and most predictable partners of European Union.